This is the David Lloyd Leisure Fitness Zone at intosport.com. In this guide, we're going to look at the crunch, an exercise that works the abdominal muscles in your stomach and can be used during your main workout or as a station within a circuit session. Start by lying on your back on an exercise mat. Place your arms behind your head and bend your legs so that your feet are flat on the floor to create a slightly less than 90 degree angle at your knees. Once your arms are in position, draw in your belly button, which will help keep the natural curve of your spine, also known as the neutral position. To perform the crunch, raise your feet slightly off the ground, then lead with your chest, bringing your shoulders up whilst lifting your knees towards your body at the same time. It's important to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine, so try not to use your hands to pull your head up as you complete each crunch. Don't be tempted to lift your head with your hands. This isn't just an important point of technique, but will also help you avoid injury. It's also really important not to throw your upper body into the crunch or use your arms to help, as this will reduce the effectiveness of the exercise. Focus on curling up in a controlled manner, concentrating on your stomach so that you can feel tension throughout your abdominal muscles. Once you're at the top of the crunch, control your movement as you lower yourself back to the starting position. If you want to increase the intensity of the crunch, try keeping your feet and shoulders off the ground between each repetition. This exercise is often performed with incorrect or poor technique. When this happens, it not only increases the chance of discomfort and injury, but it also means that the exercise is going to be less effective. If you remember the following key tips, you'll go a long way to avoiding the most common mistakes. Firstly, keep your head and neck in line with your spine. Perform the exercise slowly and under control to isolate your stomach muscles. And finally, lead with your chest and shoulders to get the most out of the exercise. You may find it useful to have a training partner assess your technique to ensure that you are performing the crunch correctly. If you find it difficult to complete a full crunch, you can reduce the range of movement and build up gradually until you're comfortable to carry out a complete crunch. So that's the crunch covered. Now you've had a small taster of what we have to offer, experience the entire range by signing up at intosport.com.